This video is the perfect guideline on how to decide saying goodbye to all the unnecessary things in your life and turn it into a rich one with less stuff. This video is also for you who are over 30 having a normal job but still dreaming to be one of a kind. To accomplish something great and amazing in life but just stuck leaving your dreams somewhere in the closet. I'm a strong believer that there's no right or wrong in this world. Everyone should decide what makes them happy and fulfilled and no one has the right to judge them right or wrong. But I'm making this video only for you who don't want to live a mediocre life. So if that's not you, this video might make you feel uncomfortable. But if you're someone who has the passion to refuse to settle who don't want to be average, this one's for you because I'm pretty sure this video will help you change your mindset. This video is made by extracting the key points written by a famous Japanese minimalist, Fumio Sasaki, Goodbye Things. And I've added an action plan for you to easily decide how to throw away unimportant things in your life. So let's dive right into it. Why is getting rid of things so important in life? It's because there are basically only two things that defines a person's happiness. It's experience and controllability. Experience is self-explainable. The more you challenge new things and invest in yourself, you gain new experiences and you feel growth and satisfaction. Adapting to new changes and experiencing new things is the juice of life, right? What is controllability? Controllability is how much control you have in your life. In other words, the freedom you have in your hands. So we can say that life is a game of how to maximize our experience and what we can control. In order to gain control and get more free space, we need to throw away things. Make sense? But minimalist Fumio Sasaki says in his book that throwing away things isn't the purpose. So what I'm saying is if you copy a famous minimalist and throw away all the things that you have just to be the same, you might end up feeling empty. It's because everyone has different values and what is important to them and you are always different. But by throwing away things, we could avoid occupying our brains with unnecessary stuff or continuously being obsessed buying new ones. And we can use that money to invest in ourselves and gain new experiences. Now I want to give you the action plan, the mind-blowing criteria on how to decide easily throwing away things. Once you learn this, I bet you will never hesitate to throw away things again. The three criteria are time, money, and motivation. Whenever throwing away things, ask yourself. 1. Is this saving me time? Is this helping me gain more free time? 2. Is this helping me make money? 3. Is this giving me motivation? Do I get a positive feeling with this? If it doesn't apply to any of these three, just throw it away and you will never regret it. Let me give you a few examples. TV. 1. Does a TV save you time? No, it usually eats up your time, right? 2. Does it help you make money? No way, right? 3. Does it get you motivated? Does it give you a positive feeling? Well, for me, it doesn't. Watching negative news out there on the media, sometimes watching dramas are for fun, but they don't give me a positive feeling and it's not something worth my time, so I don't watch TV. What about a vacuum cleaner? 1. Does it save me time? Yes, it does and it's quite handy. 2. Does it help me make money? No, it obviously doesn't. 3. Does it get me motivated? No, it doesn't because I hate cleaning my house. But it does fit in one of the three, so that's why I keep it in my house. The interesting thing is that the criteria don't just apply for throwing away things. It also goes with your schedules, hobbies, human relationships, jobs, or even habits. You don't believe me? Let's find out. Your hobbies, for example, sports. 1. Does it save you time? No, it usually consumes your time, right? 2. Does it help you make money? If your hobby is making you money, that's awesome, but in most cases, maybe no, right? 3. Does it get you motivated? Does it give you a positive feeling? If you like your hobby, it should fit into this one. If it doesn't, you should quit your hobby right now and just move on to the next one. What about human relationship? This might sound rude, but bear with me. 1. Does he or she save you time? This might be a yes because he or she might be saving you time because you're delegating your work. 2. Does he or she make you money? Again, if it's your friend, no, but if it's your business partner, yes, right? 3. Does he or she get you motivated? Do they give you a positive feeling? This is the important part of friendship. If you have someone that drains your soul and keeps criticizing you and just brags about their own life, think it's time to cut them out of your life. Don't you agree? Remember that maximizing your experience and controllability, in other words, to gain more freedoms in your hand, is the game of life. In order to free your life, the unimportant things that are surrounding you, including your relationships, your jobs, your hobbies, need to go away. The unnecessary things in your life just eats up your willpower. 
They take a whole bunch of your brain just like an unnecessary data in your PC. The more garbage you have in the memory field, the performance of the PC gets worse. Always keep in mind the three rules, time, money, and motivation. Get rid of things in your life and replace it with valuable stuff and what contributes to your future dreams. That's to gain new experience and get financially free. To be able to be with whomever you want, do whatever you want, live wherever you want. Don't you agree that kind of life is what we all want? Let's start chasing that by throwing away unnecessary things in your life. If you want to learn more about minimalism, the next video to watch is this. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Joey and this channel is all about self-development tips to change your mindset and change your life. So if this sounds good to you, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.